I'm Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hey, what's up? Don't forget to subscribe. If you're coming back to my channel, hey guys, it's good to see you. I hope you guys enjoyed the guacamole video that I uploaded on my channel. Um, for today's look, we're really just going with the flow, picking up a palette and just deciding what look to do as we're going. So let's go ahead and get this video started. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to be picking up the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Base Mattifier. Okay, now that the primer is on, um, for foundation, I'm going to be picking up the Too Faced Born This Way Medium to Full Coverage in the shade Vanilla. And now I'm just going to put a few pumps on the back of my hand and use my finger to apply it all over my face. And now I'm going to be picking up my Sephora Beauty Blender to blend out all that foundation. Okay, now that the foundation is on and blended out, for concealer, I'm going to be picking up the Rimmel London 24 Hour Stay Matte Concealer, and this is in the shade Ivory. Okay, now, to, now that the concealer is on and blended out, I'm going to be picking up the Airspun setting powder and I love this, I love using this. I swear I will never use another setting powder. Um, I'm going to be picking this up to set the concealer and foundation. Yes. Okay, now for brows. I'm going to be picking up the Revolution Brow Pomade with my Sephora Brow number 20 brush. Okay, holy crap, this is the first time I've ever done like my eyebrows from like a mirror that's like all the way up there. Y'all! Yeah. And this is like not defined yet. Look at Beautiful. Okay, now picking up that same concealer and I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand to define my eyebrows. Okay, now that my eyebrows are done, like filled in, defined, all that, now to finish them off, we're going to pick up the Urban Decay Brow Finish. And again, this is just to set them in place so if I get water on them, if I rub my face, anything like that, like they won't come off. So I'll have eyebrows all the time. Okay, now time for eyes. I'm going to be picking up for primer, I'm going to be picking up the Anastasia Beverly Kills Eyeshadow Primer. Okay, and I'm just going to be putting a little bit on the back of my hand because seriously, 
one little dot that looks just like that. Literally, that little dot will cover both of my eyes fully. So I'm gonna be picking up that Sephora brush that I like to use, dipping into that into that primer, and then using that um, Sephora Beauty Blender to make sure it's evenly blended out all over my lids. Okay, now I'm going to be picking up the Kat Von D Contour Palette up. And with my Morphe M505 brush, I'm going to be dipping into this middle shade. And I'm going to use that shade as the transition shade for today. Just because the Morphe palette that I want to use doesn't have a transition shade. And we are not doing orange like I've done in one of my previous videos. We all know that it didn't work out. So, no. We're going to use this shade right here. Okay, now picking up this Morphe palette, the Artistry palette, I don't know, but it looks like this. Yeah. Okay, now for the first shade, I'm going to be dipping into Add, which is this very um, light brown shade right here. Okay, now I'm going to be dipping into Now Trending, and I'm going to be applying that um, to my, probably like the three-fourths quarter of my eyelid. Okay, now for eyeliner, I'm going to be picking up my Maybelline Master Precise Excuse me, black eyeliner. And we're gonna be doing a black wing liner. Okay, now of course I can never just do a simple look. We all know this. So I'm gonna be picking up my Wet n Wild um, eyeliner and this is in the shade Pink. And this is for my bottom waterline. Okay, now for my lower lash line, I'm gonna be dipping back into that same brown shade with my Morphe M443 brush. Now for mascara, I'm going to be picking up my Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara in the shade Blackest Black. Okay, now that my eyes are done, let's go ahead and finish the rest of my face. So I'm going to be picking up the Sephora Blush Collection up. With my Real Techniques blush brush, I'm going to be dipping into this lighter bronzer, like a light bronzer, bronze, bronzer, a lighter bronze. I just had like a blonde moment. I'm going to be dipping into this light bronzer, bronze shade, whatever, and I'm going to use that to start off the contour. Okay, now to define that contour, picking up that Kat Von D contour palette up again, and we're going to be dipping into that middle shade.
Okay, now picking up that airspun setting powder again. And with my Sephora Beauty Blender, I'm gonna start creating that precise line. Okay, now time for highlight. I'm gonna be picking up the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Blossom Glow. I'm going to be picking up that Kat Von D contour palette up again and I'm going to be dipping into this lighter shade right here just to brighten under my eyes and my forehead a little bit. Okay, now picking up my Tarte fluffy brush and I'm going to be wiping off this excess powder. Okay, now for lips, I'm going to be picking up my... Kate, I don't know, C-I-A-T-E, just so you guys know, in case I'm not saying it right, um, liquid velvet uh, lipstick in the shade Gossip, ooh, ooh. Okay, and this is the finished look. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.